Welcome back, everybody. We're here with round two of this league with Modern Mill. And again, it's a deck from Christopher Smith from Twitch. He wanted us to give a shot. We are able to take round one up against um, the Mirror Match, surprisingly. So we're going to go ahead and see how this round goes. Yep. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy that we played against Mill in round one. I can't imagine the odds of that are, are even remotely close to high. Um, but you know, that was, that was kind of sweet. Uh, definitely, definitely a matchup you're not going to play very often. So that was pretty cool. I will have to agree with you, Stephen, that the, but what's the odds we run into the mirror two rounds in a row? Yeah, I can't, I, I, I can't tell you. It's really low. Um, so looks like our opponent's just kind of deciding on their, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Maybe they haven't clicked their companion yet or something, and they stepped away from the computer. Uh, so hopefully uh, hopefully they come back shortly and uh, don't just keep us sitting here. But, um, yeah, I mean, what did what did you think of the first round, Larry? Uh, um, it, I think we did pretty well. Um, oh, you we know, go. we played well, um, so it paid off. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can play well this round. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a learning learning experience for both of us. This is probably, I've played Mill before, never at a competitive event, but I've tested it, you know, once or twice. Uh, mm. Mm. This hand looks close. We're playing against another Luris deck, so I assume again that it's probably red black. But, but last who, round, who maybe knows? that's a lie. Yeah, who um, knows? So let's assume this is red black. Yeah, um, it looks pretty. I guess double inquisition on the play is like kind of sweet, but always yeah. wish your opponents good luck, everyone. You know, it's always good to be a good sport. Yeah, I I would assume double ink is like pretty good against them. Bobbles a redraw, so that's like I don't know. The scene's close. Um, it is close. I'm um, not certain. I'm not certain either. Um, I think I personally would lean more towards keeping it just because I think Inquisition is pretty good in the matchup and might might give us a good shot. And it could be Boggles too. Like you, you never know. I, I think the Inquisitions are going to be good, so let's yep. just let's give it a try. Yeah, we're going to lead with the Inquisition most uh, more most definitely. So yep. let's go ahead and keep it. Let's give it a try. And I know you. I know Boggles is fresh on your mind, Steven, since you did top eight the lowest box man over the weekend with it. So if anybody at home wants to play a really competitive deck, um, Boggles is the way to go on the website. We actually will have an article up about it. Yeah, for, I mean, Boggles definitely has a, a solid red-black matchup, which was the draw to playing it. Um, I would assume that as, yeah, and it is, it looks like it's red-white, but still, still uh, a prowess aggro. Okay, so Path we don't actually care about. Nope. Um, we're going to need to get these creatures, so... Um, I think we're taking Swiss Spirit. Yeah, get the most aggressive one out of their hand. Yep. Uh, giving us neg one counters doesn't do anything. Wither isn't going to be very effective against us. Yep. But anyway, yeah, the the topic of Boggles, I mean, yeah, we, we both played that deck this weekend, and it's definitely uh, well positioned against Red Black, the current builds. Now, some some builds I've seen have been playing uh, Angrath's Rampage in the side, which would obviously be terrible for Boggles, so... You know, the deck can definitely adapt and get better against Boggles, but for the past weekend, it was definitely a, a really good choice. All right, not to cut you off, it does look like they did have a Lava Dart in the top of the library. That's a little scary with two um, Prowess creatures, but we well, did they're get only the gonna get, Yeah, one. they're only going to have one. Yep. So, You're right. you know, it's obviously... We could this in that Lava Dart. That could be a line. I um, hope not. <laughs> um, Ideally, drawing a land off this Bobble would be nice. Yeah, or the draw step. Either or. I'd like right, both, there we go. but... Um, there we go, because now we have Crab active. Yep, Crab's active, um, and if they want to path our Crab, we'd be more than happy to take a land for it, I think. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not, what on earth? That's a really strange sequence there from our opponent not interesting. putting a threat into play. I don't, don't really understand. I don't understand either, yeah. um... Okay, well, we're going to take it. I'm happy, gonna... to, happy to not see a prowess creature in place, so, turn, and that's a sweet draw. Um, I like just, um, we might as well go ahead and get the crab out there. Yeah, I think we crab, fetch for a swamp, and ink him. Yep. And uh, take one of these threats. Yeah. 
Uh, which one's this? The swap. Uh, again. Well, I'll tell you what. Hedron Crab is a really awkward card against Lava Dart. Our, our strategy is pretty awkward against Lava Dart. You are not wrong. <laughs> all right. Because I would assume our opponent is on three to four of them, and they will have all of them at their display. And they already have two, so. It's going to be tough. Or maybe, no, they, they I'm sorry, I was, I was the looking graveyard. at the revealed and not the graveyard. They are better in the graveyard because um they do have to sack land, so we do have that going for us. Yep, for sure. Still not great for us, yeah. but at least we have that upside. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, again, if they're going to path our crab, I'm pretty into it. I'm pretty into another land. So we'll see Expect if they them to do it right to do now. That. I think they will too, and and they do, and I, I think that's actually just really solid for us. Another land is is definitely going to be good. Oh yeah. Um, we weren't going to take the path. Um, no. we will use the ability. We'll just grab another blue. Oh, um, maybe just. It probably is a blue source. Yeah, I, I think I agree. Um, we have double black. Usually, two black is the right number. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> So, I, like I think we bobble them, and if they don't have a burn spell, I kind of just like playing Game Loras. Or, and, and, oh, no, the, yeah. I like Loras Bobble again, personally. Um, I guess they could double dart the Loras, but that's not good. Then they have no lands, so I'm not super concerned if, if they would choose to do that. Now, if they have a bolt effect here, what do they got? Did it show? It's, I want to say it's the Mesa. Okay, so... <coughs> we need to clean this up really quick to make... Yeah. Um, they, have, not, they have a vantage. Uh, we've seen that mace. Uh, these lava darts were revealed. One of them's in his hand, right? He has a dart. Yeah. So his hand is literally dart and vantage. And yeah. he's drawing mesa. So he's going <coughs> to have to double dart Loras to kill it and lose a land. I, I don't think that's bad for us it really um so he has a dart in here actually erased it but that's fine yep um I, yeah i think we're just getting loris out yeah loris bauble seems pretty sweet to me i don't think loris is going to get any better on the later we yeah to play no, not really yeah i, I just think we we want to get more cards um and i do like um we wait to use it so we get to see his next draw, maybe. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting um, until his upkeep to take a gander. Yeah. Now he could fetch, obviously, but I would assume he's going to play the oh, yeah, advantage. So I guess we're not going to do it there. Yeah. Mainly because we do want to have the chance to um, go ahead and hit that bad boy. Yep. One cool thing, actually, we found around, um, we're, we're a Snapcaster deck, so um, Snapcaster and Loris is really busted. Oh, yeah, really cool, yeah, yeah for sure. Definitely. Such a good interaction yeah, right there. Absolutely. So, yep, yeah, Dart Dart, we yeah. knew this was coming, no surprise. Mm. Um, and fortunately, you know, the fetch is still in their hand, so the bottle is just going to show us what's up here. Um, yeah, I, I think I think we're, this is a pretty reasonable start so far. I mean, if we... If we draw, like, a Phantasm or whatever, I think our opponent's going to actually have a really hard time winning this game. Another Bobble on top? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he has a Fetch in hand that we know about. Yep. Sure, we'll take the three. Hmm. Not well. It might be good. The best, happen. but yeah. I mean, we'll see. I think here we're just deploying both orbs. Um, That's what I was leaning towards. You know, it's like, a better, perfect turn to do it. Yeah, I I think so. Let's just you know, we're trying to mill our opponent out. I think, and this is the best way to do that. I assume. Right, we this know turn, he has a mesa in hand. Yeah, and he's drawing a bauble, right? Yep. So I assume his turn is going to be uh, bobble himself, then fetch. Nope, guess not. I guess he wanted the Loris bobble here anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, just yeah, Loris and then bobble twice. Mm -hmm. um, Which makes a lot of sense. It does. Yep, for sure. 
you know, there is a very real world where, okay, I'm, does he still have one in his hand? I think so. Yeah, I guess he still has one in his hand. Okay. Weird decisions. Yeah, I, I don't. Our has been doing some weird things, yeah, but. Yeah, strange, for sure. You know, this magic, we can play however we want. Um, I don't think we're doing anything here, no. so we're going to go to our turn. No, we'll mill ourselves a bunch. That's fine. Yeah, we. It's not a big deal. No. Uh, no crypt incursion, so there's step one. Yeah, that's that's good. Um. Snap's a really good draw. That's not the worst. What we got in here? Oh, so. So we could ambush his lures when he tries to swing it at us, because I'm assuming he would start to swing. Yeah, I don't hate that. Because um, we can easily go snap. Um, yeah, I think we just pass turn. We want to yeah. extract Bauble when he cracks it, and then get the other Bauble in his hand. Maybe he was playing around that when he... Okay, well, we're gonna we're just going to get that now. Don't want to play with this. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, it looks like he has a mountain in hand. Okay. So, got their baubles. Yeah, well, mount, basic mountain in hand. Basic mountain? Okay. Yeah. So, so he has three cards in hand now. Two cards that we don't know. Alright. We're done. We're back to no information at this point. This is his graveyard. And he has two darts. So we might actually have to surgical target the darts so we can... Yeah, I would surgical and target the darts so we can actually snapcast or block the Lurus. Personally, it's obviously not very good because he can still dart us twice, but I think it's the best um, way to deal with this Lurus and uh, maybe beat our opponent, so... Well, he can just um do the one that we target. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Oof. Unfortunately, surgical just really no, doesn't, not good doesn't in this matchup. convert very well in this matchup. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and like I was saying earlier, lava dart against mill is super good. <clears throat> yeah, we're in a very bad situation. Oh, yeah. Um, yep. Uh, we actually might just be dead on board. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're going to one here. Um, I guess if we draw another glimpse, we can get him. Um, doesn't really matter what you target here. I guess target that. Oh, okay. He's not going to lava dart, so that's... So at least we get the soak. That's really nice. Yeah, let's do this. Did he not have another lava dart? Or did he use them both? Yeah. He used them both. So that's really good for us, I guess. Cool. All right. Yep, milling a bunch of cards. I think our opponent just lost this game. They did.
glimpse glimpse and barring a bunch of lightning bolts we got him barring both his and there's like no way he has bolt in hand because he would have bolted the snap so that was um pretty interesting that they used both darts i don't think he understood how yeah they, yeah how he worked. probably had the thinking that i had yeah when we cast it so so then he draws i believe yep mm -hmm. all right well we were able to steal game one yeah, which, which is we should know, awesome. but we will take those. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we're going to get the surgicals right. out of our deck. So let's talk about some of these cards for those who didn't watch the deck deck. I'm actually very excited to play this card. Yeah, Memento is going to be sweet. Um, sweet enough, at least. Uh, so, surgicals are definitely coming out of yep. our deck, so we've got some, some slots there for these free. These are going to be the four ones that are just easy. Yeah, slam dunks, um, I think so is what we'd call these. Surgicals is really, not where really we want to be. Nope. Not even a little bit. Um, and then from there, I think uh, Mesmeric Orb is like quite slow and yeah, I don't pretty, think... pretty poor. Let me uh, put all those. Do uh, we like the spell in this matchup? Uh, I think, I certainly like Force of Negation. I probably, the spell is good enough if we can find room. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. Uh, Visions of Beyond seems pretty weak. Uh, just, I definitely don't think we're supposed to have four. We don't have yeah, time I think for we that. A couple. Yeah. So I think Forces and Dispels are the next cards I'd want in the deck. Um, I think Forces are better than Dispel. Um, but we'll just see how much room we have. So if we go Force, Force... And then one dispel. Um, I kind of want the other dispel too, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe over. Maybe visions are just too slow on the draw. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, I think we just cut the vision. Yeah, go down to one visions. It seems just not. Dispel is just probably good. better. You yeah. Know, it hits their um, lightning bolts. And... If we get to the point where visions is a real card, then I think we're we're probably in an okay spot in the game. So. Yeah, I agree with you. So we're going to go ahead and give that a try. Yep. All right. So, uh, All right. game two. Let's see if we can... Uh, Take one away from... All right, well, All right, we've well, got Memento and Double Archive Trap, which is kind of sweet. I think, I think I think we risk this hand. Yeah, I think we're... If our opponent has a fetch, we're milling 26 cards. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. And a lot of people don't think about that against mill. Because, um, again, it's kind of just like a really... It's pretty pretty fringe deck, and a lot of these things you, you miss sometimes. So hopefully our opponent will miss that and... Uh, then we'll have a, a one mana five five too, which should be really sweet. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get this momento out there. Yep, absolutely. And that it's was a sweet draw. draw. Yeah. Now we don't have to fat shock, which yep. is what my plan I was. I think we're just supposed to shock this in our engine, or um, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, I I think that makes sense. Yeah, we're just gonna get that out there. Yep. Quicker we can get that going, because drawing the lock to, to still gains us a life when we go and put that creature in the graveyard from the battlefield. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think that card is just super good. Yeah, I, I, I missed that interaction, actually, that when you killed something, you gained yep. a life. That's pretty Whenever awesome. Whenever a creature card is put into the opponent's graveyard from anywhere, that's really you awesome. gain a life. So when you ink cards, you gain a life. Yep. And, yep, really, really so sweet. So many good moments. That is really awesome. Um, hopefully they play a fetch here. That'd be sweet. Spike us, yep, all that checks out and makes sense. Uh, that's not what we wanted to see. Also not what we wanted to see. Ooh, buddy. This is this dangerous. This has been really, really gross from our opponents so far. All right. 
right, so let's think here. I think we're probably supposed to leave up the drown in the lock to kill a guy here, but that's kind of my inclination. Our opponent's going to play two swift spears. I think milling them is just too dangerous because if we hit darts, we're dead. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess they don't have a mountain in play yet, but if they, you know, yeah, so maybe, I guess they have no mountains, so darts aren't like... It's still bad. Because if we if hit they, any creatures, we gain life, too. Yeah, gain one life off every creature. And then I guess Phantasm is a one-mana 5-5 five five at that point. Mm -hmm. um, so We might have to just risk it, because I don't think we're going to win the game sitting here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, Drown is... I mean, we're not sitting here and doing nothing. We're going to we're gonna drown their guy if we don't glimpse them this turn. I think we're just supposed to leave up the Drown to save ourselves okay. some life in the long run. We can take that line for sure. Yeah, and I'm obviously hoping we draw a land, because if we draw a land, next turn will be sweet. We can uh, glimpse them and then play a 5-5. Five five Ideally, we'll Field of Ruin. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. But I'll take any land. This has been yeah. really unfortunate. Our opponent's got to be playing roughly six to eight fetches yeah. in their deck, and they just haven't, haven't had to play any of this game into our double trap, so... It's been really frustrating. Double bobble. So we just um, destroyed now. I don't I guess it don't matter. I, I agree, yeah. Yeah. So we'll kill it now. That's fine. Might as well. Grab a blue source. Uh, yeah. Greed. Yeah, it's just going to get rid of one of them. Yep, go six. All right, so that's a sweet draw. I think we're just going to glimpse our opponent and play a 5-5 five five and hope that that uh, will be enough. Yep. So let's start with the glimpse. Now, hopefully the glimpse can hit. I would I would hope at least, like, two creatures. Now, they only play... They only usually play, like, 12 creatures in their deck. So, yep. Oops. And it, it hit two. So I think that's a pretty, pretty reasonable hit. The odds, odds-wise. Um, yeah, and 5-5. Five, five. And go ahead and, you know, hope we're not dead. Yep. It seems pretty unlikely that we would die from here, but, but you know, I've totally seen, possible. I've seen crazier things happen. Yep. This is not even that unlikely. Double, double bolt kills us. Spike bolt kills us. Double spike kills us. So there, there are definitely a lot of things that kill us here. Hopefully they have to fetch. Maybe they try fetching the thin to pop their canopy to draw the burn spells. Uh, two mana. Abbott. Yep. Okay. So them abbotting here is is probably good news. Alright, that's rough. Uh, we'll block a guy, and... <sighs> yep, that's a little unfortunate, but oh. it is what it is. Okay, crab. That's, yep. And mill them. And I think we're probably just passing. Attacking seems horrible. Oh, it's it's not that it seems horrible. Yeah, it just is very not good. So we're not gonna do it. Uh, I assume their turn is gonna be Laura Swift Spear. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's. I think we. Yep. We're gonna let that happen. And this this was the opportunity we needed. Our our opponent. I guess they weren't playing around it. They just. You know. Um. They. They kind of forgot about it. Um, they just hadn't drawn any fetches yet. And now they drew a fetch and weren't thinking about double archive trap. And we definitely have a very real chance to steal this game. We wait. Yeah, oh yeah, we wait. We don't want darts happening in combat. We want yep. them to happen. He already has one in the graveyard, and that's the most yeah. he can do this turn that's out of the fair. graveyard. That's fair, which is really important. 
I mainly well, I didn't want to do it because of Loris. I didn't want to give Loris more toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, I prefer Loris to use what there is at their hands right now. Yep, yep, uh, definitely. Which it could either, it's probably going to be the smart play being Swiss Spear to get the get as much damage in. Yep, I would assume um, so. And we're just going to have to go block, block. He could put... Oh, he has a Seal of Fire in the graveyard, so that's relevant, too. Sure. I can't imagine he cares that much about our crap, but maybe he does. I mean... No, nope, Soul, Soul Star. Age. That's odd. Alright, okay. um, we can go ahead and do him now, then. I would wait. I'd still wait. Is there any benefit to waiting? Uh... There's nothing he can literally do with anything out of the graveyard. It might change... It still might change, like, play patterns from him, so that's I weird. think I would just do it on the end stuff. There's... We do, we don't gain anything from doing it now. Truth, so. truth is there. All right. No attack. So. Trap, trap, and uh, we're gonna hope that we kill him with a top deck glimpse again. That'd be really, really sick. Okay. Might as well look at their card. Yep. Might as well. Abbott. And, yep. So we really need a nice rip here. Uh, Crypt Incursion would probably be one of the best draws in our deck. Mm -hmm. um, Snapcaster, yeah, that ain't it. That is not it. We are 100% dead. Yep. 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 So, really a, a pretty close game for us. Um, Unfortunate yep, um, that we couldn't kill him off the top again, but we're thankfully lucky to do for him he was able to find this um, artifact. Hey, um, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Our mana wasn't very good here either. Um, um, not having two black really sucked. We never got to play Loris, um, and you know that that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, we sometimes. can go ahead and um, move on to the next one. Yep. All right. So uh, I think our plan is just um still solid. I think we just go with it and hope for the best. Yep, I think I agree. Yeah, we had a lot of things we could have done there. Um, we just didn't draw all the right cards, you know. So yeah, even, actually, a fat, even a fetch land uh, yeah. wins the game. Field wins the game. So yeah, you know, a, a few of our lands win the game there. Assuming you can't kill the crab, and um, you know, I do think a we got spells. a good plan. Yep, I mean, I like our plan. I think we have a good um route to take these W's. Yeah, it's as it's as good as it's gonna get. So. And for those that are watching at home, um, we're always taking suggestions in the comments if you have any deck selection that you would like to see. Because that's actually how we got on the mill plan. Yeah, absolutely. Or just, you know, if you're watching and want to discuss play patterns or whatever, I would definitely be willing to, to go back and look at that stuff too. Because again, first time playing the deck really for both of us on any sort of like competitive level. So. Right. And, um, you know, if you can't directly talk to us through the comments for some reason, um, go ahead. Our Twitter handle will be in the in down below, so you can always just go ahead and give us a shout-out on there. We definitely yep. would answer some questions there. Absolutely. All right. Revealing words. That's step one. All right, let's take a look. Craft Incursion is pretty good. And we have Glimpse, which I think is probably and we have like push. the best card in the mat. Yeah, like, we got I think we're definitely keeping yeah. this. Glimpse is really important to me because it makes our uh, Phantasms 5-5s five immediately when we draw them. I think it's really important in this matchup. So um, I like just good. pass. I, well, yeah. we could bobble and just take a look at their card really quick. Um, we might want to look at our card because we have a fetch land, so it might determine um, what we do with that fetch land. For example, if um, if we have like a non-land, we might choose to fetch now because we kind of want to hit lands, or you know, I, I think I think we want to take a peek at our top card here Sounds and, like and let the drawing the lock seems pretty good. I think it's good enough. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to keep that here. Uh, it's you yep. know, it's it's going to be a removal spell, particularly for Loris. So yeah, I'm 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 into it there. Seal of fire. Yep, no problem there. Yep, uh, we're gonna. Fetch a tap land, I think. Oh, I agree. And yeah, the that's that's sweet for us that it was not a one drop creature and was just a seal. So um, definitely how we'd like the game to start. 
Okay, that's a sweet draw, too. Yep, we'll go and get that in the play. Yep, there was playing that, and um, we... Well, I think that's a good glimpse turn. Yeah, I agree. Let's, um... We might as well get that out of the way. I don't think it's going to get better, because we're going to have to interact later in the game. Yep. It makes our drown even much better. Yeah, drown now is just hard counter to everything in their deck. So, that's pretty sweet. Dormont's Crypt, okay. Okay, that's going to be pretty annoying with Loris, for but, sure. You can respond to Crypt Incurred. So the good news is we can counter the Loris. Alright, he has left the stage 100%. Yep. And, you know, okay, so it was, like, probably per like really, really good two cards did off light up the stage, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, the good news is the, the Crypt is never going to be able to get replayed because we can always just uh, drown and lock the, mm -hmm. the Loris, which is very likely what's going to happen in this game. Okay. Um, All right, we know we're playing a land. Yeah, I believe... Okay. So, we fetch a basic... We can all do this all on their turn, though, mm -hmm. I think. I agree. We don't need pass. to do anything right now. Yeah. Um, he has one creature and two creatures in the graveyard. That's on the key track of. Yep. And, um, Force is just non-creatures, right? Correct. Yep, so I think we just kind of have to let this happen. Yep. Because the Drown probably is reserved for the Loris. I agree. Unfortunately. That's also unfortunate. Um, Yeah. We're probably just gonna get the Swiss beer out of. Yeah, I think we, I think we're yeah we're in a spot where we kind of have to do that. So, I like getting watery grave out on, in, onto the battlefield as much as possible. I agree. Yep, seals fine. Yep. I guess we can just push it now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then fetch up that tap watery grave now just to save some time. I agree. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, well, part of me thinks we're supposed to just feel no, so we take a redraw off of him. Yeah, that's very possible. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, if we draw archive traps, we can just cast them anyway. However, um, let's think about this for a second. Yeah. Um, we do give him an extra mana that he can uh, turn on both lava darts out of the but stacking both of them seems very poor in his position anyway. Um, we could also just save the field for if we draw an Archive Trap. Yeah, so the thing about Archive Trap is, um, Archive Trap, we will have five mana, so we can at least cast them no matter what. That's true. So, you know, turning them on, yeah, we'd like to, but we don't necessarily need to sculpt around that. Um, um so... I think that we just field this turn then, because then we still got the two draw mana for draw and lock. Yeah, I, I could get behind that. And I think just keep preventing them from having that redraw is just that much relevant. Yeah, I, I like it too. Um, just grab blue source, it's fine. Yep. And also, a fun fact, he now doesn't have a Loris mana. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, now he, he now does. has Loris mana. But that, you know, I mean, that's fine. We have the Drown for it. We really hope he does go for it. Um, yeah, this is just really annoying. Um, yeah, this is tough. Uh... I think we actually probably just have to use our mana. And I think we do. This, or we're going to fall too far behind and die. Um, and and this game really just, you know, this game right now is just kind of speaking to the power of the of these Red Prowess decks. Just so much card advantage in these decks. We've, we've pretty much lined up with them at every turn of the game, and they still have a creature in play, have their companion at their disposal, have two damage in play, and have another card in play. So... 
really just a deck that's really able to grind well. And this is this is why these decks are so powerful. I have to agree with that. So two dark yeah, we're dead here. This no, is we're not. I think oh, yeah, we, are. we are. Yeah, the seal kills us. So again, I mean this, you know, we started turn four at fifteen life and had a drown and and died. I mean, that's just just super powerful. Just really, really powerful, great deck. I mean yep. and just overall I think kind of a kind of a tough matchup for us. Um, we need a lot of things to go right, like you saw. You know, game mm -hmm. one we we triple triple glimpsed them, so yep. that's kind of. What um, there is a world where we don't drown there, and um, we actually just kill the one that that, that is yeah, the seventy six. Yeah, we have crypt incursion. That's fair. Uh, the how many? It's crypt is three life each. I mean, he still only had two creatures in his yard. Oh uh, no, he had one, two, three, three. Four. Four. So it four. would have been four. Okay, so maybe maybe so it was then we right would have gained twelve life back, and yeah. we would have might have been in a better spot. It's possible. It's just you know gain a gain twelve isn't that good if they still have board presence, which is you know what's ultimately going to happen. So I'm not sure. If I think it would give us a few extra turns. It would have probably given us one extra turn. Um, mm. The the pro the problem is like just letting them get more cards and stuff. Like we're gonna keep falling pretty far behind and like next turn you know if if he didn't have to go for the darts here he could have just lured us abbotted us again and the it was going to be it was going to be a tough i guess he couldn't have abbotted us no he gone, but he would have gone lure us bobble i mean it was we we're in a bad spot we were in a great spot that's for um, sure let's just uh for everything purposes yeah oh you we can't on moto after a game's over you can't uh look at oh, really? what's next yeah okay so, but I mean, well, regardless, I, I think that's either way, important. either way, yeah, maybe, maybe we're supposed to kill the guy that can attack. It, it's close, I think. It is. Um, I, I just feel like we're we're falling so far behind that I, I didn't like that play. But you know, it's it's possible that that would have been better. So this is true. But no, uh, nonetheless, I thought we, uh, I thought we played fine. Um, a few things maybe we could have done differently to get better outcomes. But yeah. M matchups tough. We said the matchup was tough going into the league. I mean, we we said red black, but this is you know basically the same thing. Um, you know, the the red deck is just it's it's really powerful, and this this deck is not. Um, it, it, this is not the target, the target deck for mill. You don't, you, you don't sleeve up mill and, and hope to play against red cards every round. It's just, yeah, it's just not how it's going to happen. Yeah. So, but, but nonetheless, um, we do thank you for watching. Um, down below, we should have the Twitter handle, um, the website for Switch Gaming. If you would like to see more content similar to this, and then we'll have some suggested videos, um, somewhere down there as well. Yep. Um, and also don't forget to give on Chris Smith a, a look on down there. Um, we have his information. He's the one that came up with the deck, or at least sent us the deck list. Yep. And he does stream on Twitch, so go ahead and give him a follow. Maybe sub over to him. Um, but yeah, and if you like the videos, go ahead and sub and send us some more views.